morning, good morning, good morning. Pitch black, so I doubt you can see a damn thing. Um, welcome to the Isle of Wight. Um, I'll keep this short and sweet because it's pretty pointless at the minute. Um, I've come down because a Mr. Paul Crompton is in town. Um, watch him often on YouTube and uh, as, he's, as he's in the area, it's only polite to come and say hello. So that's what I've done. Anyway, um, I'll talk to you when the, when the sun comes up a little bit more than what it is now. Okay, see you in a minute. Bye. <laughs> good morning, good morning. It's still a little bit too dark. Um, I, you can at least see the the uh, lifeboat station now. Um, yeah, it's it's about 6.30 in the morning. Um, I've taken two photographs already. One is about 90 seconds um, and the other one is two minutes at F9. Um, ISO 320 initially and then I've dropped it to ISO 100 so we should get a really nice flat screen water um, or flat water with a nice sky effect as you can see there is some nice sky unfortunately the sunrise is behind us and um, so yeah we're pretty pretty limited on what we can do but hopefully we've got a nice photograph okay I'll talk to you in a bit when it gets a bit lighter okay thank you I've moved further to the left of the lifeboat station um, because um, there's this red glow that is above, I don't know if you can see it, above the lifeboat station. Um, so yeah, I've taken several photographs, um, ISO 64, um, F13, and I'm getting exposure time of 13 seconds. Um, I am bracketing um, so I can capture the best part of that light that's above it if if i possibly can um when i look at the photographs themselves on the back of the camera it looks like it's predominantly blue um so i don't know you know if that's just because let me just look no no that looks fine um in fact that looks really nice yeah so um, i'll share those with you now I met paul and um, he's further down he's over there somewhere taking a photograph um, hopefully I'll say hello on this a little bit later on, don't know. But um, yeah, I'm going to keep walking around, see what we can get. I don't want to stay around here too long. I photographed this several times before, but um, it is a nice location. So yeah, okay. I'll share those with you now. I'm going to get out of the way of this water. So I've, I've tried to photograph um, with a leading line, as in using these rocks. So the rocks are leading us up to the lifeboat station itself. Um, and I've also come to the right of that as well to do um, the same again, i.e. from down here. Um, looks like a nice photograph. I have stacked it. <laughs> Mr. Paul Crompton. <laughs> I knew you'd do it at some point. <laughs> Are you that vlogger, mister? <laughs> um, yeah, so I have done it um, stacking it. Sorry, I have done it so I can stack it. Um, and I've taken, I don't know, four or five photographs of each one. Um, I've done it so it's an exposure time of something like five seconds, and then I've done it so it's 45 seconds, so I've got the flat water, and I'm gonna use the best one um, out of the two, three photographs that I've taken. So yeah, I'll share that with you now. Nice, nice photograph, okay. I'll touch you in a bit, and he's off up there, okay. I knew we'd do that at some point, okay. So I've taken three different photographs um, and I've done them from around about the same location, moved around a little bit. I've done it, I was going to vlog from there, but it really is dodgy. The waves are, um, you know, really kicking up and, and the stones themselves or the rocks themselves on the shoreline are exceptionally slippy um, and I don't want to damage any more of my equipment. Having lost one lens, I do not want to lose any more. So yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't do anything from there. I mean, I, I use the um, Canon M50 um, and I've got it on a rod. And um, yeah, it's just too heavy to, to cart around on, on rock faces and stuff like that, um, especially if they're slippy. So yeah, so I'll share those ones with you now. Um, I'm gonna 
probably end it from uh, Benbridge Lighthouse. Lighthouse, I keep saying lighthouse, don't I? Benbridge Boathouse um, and um, move on somewhere else. But the plan was originally to stay till 6 p.m. tonight when my ferry's back, but I, I don't think I'm gonna stay that long. Um, but we will see, okay. All right, I'll share those with you now. Let me know what you think, please. See you in a bit, there it is. It is a nice location, guys. Okay, see you in a bit. Thank you. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by. But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call? Hi, so, um, we've come down to Totland Pier on the Isle of Wight um, Two things of interest So ahead of me, there is um, a lighthouse, which is what I'm going to try and photograph first and then behind me, there is the pier. So when I come back, I'm gonna try and do the pier. There's also some, like, I don't know if it's cliff, a cliff face or if it's a man-made wall, but um, that's breaking the wave before it hits the shoreline. So I might try and see if I can capture some of those waves hitting the wall. Um, yeah, okay. Paul, I'm still with Paul, Paul's still with me, whichever one you want to say. Um, yeah, good. So, um, I'm nearly there. Just wanted to add that it's nearly blowing a gale. Um, these waves are hitting the wall and coming over the top. I've already got wet feet. I don't want to get a wet torso as well. Anyway, fantastic, fantastic, all right. In a minute. Wow, this is some gale. Wow, this is strong winds. Um, I've taken several photos of the rocks that are leaving that, like the, like the breaks. I don't know how good they're going to be because of the amount of water that's being splashed onto the lens. Um, I've cleaned it several times and retaken it, um, but I'll share the best one. I mean, I don't know if you can see. Um, without breaking my back. Woo! I've also taken I've also taken some photographs of the lighthouse. I've used the 70 to 200 mil lens um, and I've zoomed right in and I've just tried to capture the wave movement because of the storm. I didn't want to use long exposure to do it. Um, I'll put the settings down because I can't remember now. Um, yeah, I've come here to do the same, but there isn't really a photograph here. So what I'm gonna do now is walk back down the path to the pier, and I'm gonna try and take some photographs of the pier, which is down there. Not too far, looks further than it is on the camera. It's about, I don't know, 100 paces, I suppose. Um, yeah, there's nothing to photograph here, so. Yeah, unfortunately. All right, okay. Picture of it. So there are two photographs I want to get of the pier. I want to get one normal shot around about 250th of a second. Then I want to get one using long exposure. So I don't know if you can see this. This um, wind and these waves are pretty rough. So I actually want to get three photographs. So I want to try and get one. So it's around about one, two seconds. So you can clearly see the movement in the water. I then want to get one that's 30 seconds if I can. Um, the problem I've got is the spray. I mean this, I've just wiped this camera and it's already covered in spray. And the last thing you want in anything electrical is salt water. Um, so I'm going to have to do it from afar. Um, I did want to go down here, I did want to go down here, 
um, but I don't think that's a good idea. I might have a look and just be careful, you know. We'll try, we'll see what it's like. Okay, I'm probably not gonna vlog from the actual beach from guys um, because of the spray, because of the risk of, you know, this camera getting damaged. Um, so, the photographs that I take, I'll share with you now, and I'll put the settings down. I'm really sorry. That's probably a wise thing to do, however. All right. I'll talk to you when I move. Okay, thanks, guys. <laughs> so, last stop for today, we're at, um, I think it's called Limston, Limston, on the Isle of Wight. But I'm here to photograph the uh, Hurst Lighthouse. Uh, the problem we've got is, like it's been all day, it's raining. Lens is getting covered in water. This camera, the M50, is getting covered in water. Um, and there's nowhere to put it down when it comes to shooting. But, you know, I'm with Paul Crompton um, on my last bit. He's going to go somewhere else afterwards, but I'm heading home. So, yeah. Um, doubt I'm going to be able to vlog him again because of the rain. But what I'll do is I'll share the photographs that I've taken with you shortly. Okay. Um, yeah, I've done several photographs from the tripod from back here and I've done a load handheld and I've used some of the old lifting apparatus that's mounted just before the end of this walkway and um, yeah I'm gonna um, show you all those photographs now all of the photographs that I've taken today my apologies again for the lack of logging it really has been bad weather this is the first lull we've had in rain today um, thanks to Paul Crompton for allowing me to join him today and for Denise or Mrs C. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. I've really enjoyed it. I'm going to end the vlog now. Um, if Mr Crompton would like to say goodbye, then, then I'll add a bit on the end. But um, other than that, thank you very much for being with me. Um, see you all again very soon. Hope you enjoy these photographs. You have a great day. Bye-bye. Do I want to say goodbye? Not really. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Why didn't you call?